You know, nothing surprises me at all <laughs> with the, the USA, USA girls. girls. Um, those women are incredible with Jess Moore, Michelle Moultrie, Valerie Ariotto, Amanda Chittister, and some other people that have now started to go, all right, now we got about eight guys in there that have been through this program, have world championship experience, won a gold medal at the world championships in 2016, and we spiced it in with some young people that by 2020 will have those four or five years experience. So it's a build-up process. And the players don't realize how fast it goes. Having been involved before, you're always chasing the clock. You know, and, and time is a major commodity when it comes down to trying to win a gold medal in Tokyo. But prior to that, the implications of the summer of 2017 are we have to qualify for the World Championships. If you don't qualify for the World Championships, you don't get a chance to qualify for the Olympics. So every day of training and every day of practice is crucial. In, in that journey that goes on. And people have no idea and realize that, yeah, it may be four years out, but before you know it, you're gonna be playing for something this year that has an implication on three, four years from now. I have the best seat in the house every day to watch the game played at, at the best level I've ever seen. You know, it's a commitment 24-7, 365, and that's a big, big difference. You know, what are you doing today to be better tomorrow? There's no goofing around. Uh, it won't be, or else there's somebody else waiting to take your place. But I think you're going to see a team that's choreographed really well, and they're expecting a lot of things. You're not going to get surprised on a lot of stuff. It's a great fast pitch team, and uh, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm amazed every day when I go out there and watch them execute. We're trying to get better today. If tomorrow comes along, then tomorrow we're going to get better today. The USA team has a tendency to stay in that cocoon of the moment uh, better than anything I've ever been involved with. I think that stems back to the philosophy that, that Mike Andrea uh, put into play back in 2001. And we've got some very, very good coaches right now that have bought into that philosophy and, and coaches that played during those quads. Uh, atmosphere and that family seriousness of what goes on is still about today. And uh, what are we gonna do today? Because tomorrow's not guaranteed.